This is your pal, Gadgetel, and of course, that's not my real voice, but it is me, your pal, Sal, guys, and what we have today is Godzilla vs. King Kong items, and we're going to rate them from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst, 10 being the best, but it's only one test, that's all, so let's get this started. Gadgetel. Welcome back to Gadgetel, guys, and of course, we have Godzilla vs. King Kong items, and I hope you're a fan of the movies, because I am, and I'm anticipating the new one that's going to come out March 31st. And the first items that I have here, they are a Godzilla and a King Kong bill. And once I get closer, you're going to see that it's a Godzilla and King Kong $1 million bill, which is really weird. I just thought they were pretty interesting. A picture of Godzilla, I, I think from the 1950s or 60s, and then they chose a new one here from the newer movies and then another one from the 50s and 60s here. And then when you look at King Kong over here, I think they used all the new pictures from the new movies. And once I turn them to the back side, that was a front side. Here we go, million dollar bill, Godzilla. They used a few different pictures here, old and new here for King Kong. I think they used all the pictures from the new movies. The front side here says United States of America on top, King of Monsters at the bottom. Here for Godzilla. For King Kong, it says the eighth wonder of the world and the United States on top. I know these things are not gadgets, guys, but it's kind of difficult to find gadgets that are related to King Kong or Godzilla without them being straight out toys, basically. But I'm going to rate these two together since they're basically the same. I'm going to give the million dollar bills here, guys, a 6.5. I think that's a pretty good score for what they are. They do come in the sleeve, so that's pretty cool. They are made out of heavy stock paper. It's a pretty good talking point to buy them as collector pieces, and you show them to your friends, you put them up on a shelf. I do like that they have scenes from the new and the old movies here for Godzilla, and of course most of them over here for King Kong are all from the new movies. But other than that, a 6.5, I think that's a pretty good score. And the next one right over here, guys, is the first very tiny Godzilla that holds your key. So it's like a key sleeve, key holder, and this attaches to your uh, key ring. Nice detail on Godzilla, kind of mini Godzilla. We'll turn it around. It really doesn't have anything but the company's logo and I guess where it was made. And then it has this plastic key, which is fake. So we're going to take out this key and... There it is. This is just a plastic key. And then we're going to take the real key right over here and we're just going to insert it. So just insert it there. And that's about it. <laughs> I do notice once I insert it, guys, it is kind of a little bit loose. Check it out. It is a little bit loose. So your key's kind of going to move around. I don't like that. I thought it was going to stay stuck. I guess not. Check it out. It is kind of loose here on the key holder. And here it is, guys. This is what it's going to look like on your keys. There it is. I'll zoom in there. It's kind of okay. I thought it was going to be tighter on the key here to hold it so it wouldn't move. I thought it was going to click in place, but it's kind of just a slide in place. It's made out of rubber. Your key is not really secured at all. I'll turn it around. Let's see if that makes a difference. Not really. The key is still kind of moving around side to side. I'm going to give the Godzilla key ring holder here, guys, a 3.4. I really don't like the way it holds the keys. I don't think it's that secure. I think your key will just kind of fall out. Um, other than that, it is made out of rubber. And the detail on Godzilla is pretty good. But if somebody looked at this, I don't think they would say, hey, that's Godzilla. They would say, what is that, like an alligator or a crocodile? They wouldn't think Godzilla. I mean, the back does say Godzilla here. But I don't think anybody would correctly guess Godzilla. This key is really not that secure. And I think it would fall out and you're going to lose your key. Next one. By the way, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss any more future gadget videos. Now let's continue with the next one. And the next one right over here, guys, is from the original movie, King Kong. It is a flip book. And we'll turn it around there so you can see. And it shows, I guess, a scene or scenes from the original King Kong movie. It's pretty small. It's not that big. It fits in the palm of my hand, which I do like. It's a book, so it's made out of uh, paper. We're going to flip this here. And let's see what we see. This is my first time doing it here. I haven't done it. It's going to be on camera. <laughs> Whoa, he's fighting the airplane. Okay. What else is he doing there? Oh, he's kind of like beating his chest. And Oh, wow. He's looking at you. That's kind of creepy. But that was pretty cool. We're going to do it one more time really quick. Fighting off the airplane. That's pretty cool. And then it cuts to him screaming. And then basically looking at you. That's kind of creepy. But at the same time, 
this is pretty cool. I didn't expect <laughs> I didn't expect him King Kong to be looking at you right at your face. So that was pretty cool. And him fighting the airplanes now, I think I'm gonna have to watch the original movie now uh, to see if I can catch that scene. So we're gonna go through it one more time, really fast. Wow, one more time, really really fast. <laughs> he kind of looks tiny here compared to the new movies that they've brought out. The King Kong Flipbook, guys, a 7.9. I think it's pretty cool. It is made out of, of course, uh, paper. You don't see many of these anymore. The Flipbook, I, I haven't seen these in, in years. Maybe they are around, but I really don't look out for them. I think it's a pretty cool thing to just throw on your coffee table. People can just stare at it over and over. You can stare at it over and over while flipping through it. And the next one right over here, guys, is a Godzilla item, an AirPods case. So check that out. I do like the image of Godzilla there. I like the artistic artwork with the green and him spitting whatever he spits out out of his mouth. Uh, that radioactive material beam, I guess. And then I'm pretty sure it says Godzilla here, but I'm not 100% sure. And it comes in two pieces, the bottom and the top here. And they're made out of plastic. We'll take this foam out of the way. It has the same image on each side here and over here. Same exact image, just a copy and paste. And it does have this little eyelid here you can put one of these on which is a carabiner but i wouldn't recommend that because if you put this like on a backpack or something most likely it's going to get stolen we'll put the back to the back slide this in kind of snug that's pretty good and this is the front that's what it's going to look like all this does is goes right on top kind of snap it in place and that's about it this is what it's going to look like that's the back there that's pretty cool just flip it open this is the front here that's really nice and you just flip it open and your AirPods are right there for the taking. So this is pretty cool. I do like that it covers the front. Um, I do like that once I open it and I close it, I don't see a white line, which happens to many other different AirPods cases. And it is kind of tough, this little rubberized plastic case. And this is what it looks like from the bottom, guys. That way you guys can plug in your cable. I'm going to give the Godzilla case here, guys, a 7.5. I think it's pretty cool. I like the design. I like the colors, the color scheme. I don't know if it does say Godzilla here or not. I like how thick it is, the case. So I think a 7.5 is a pretty good score for it. And I think if you guys do happen to purchase this, you are going to like it. And the next one right over here, guys, is a King Kong item, which is this one right over here. But I'm going to have to admit, not all of these are officially a licensed product. You don't know how difficult it was to find King Kong products that were not toys. So please bear with me. And what this is, is a 3D puzzle. And this is what it looks like. 105 pieces. And it says it's a level two to piece it together so I'm gonna open it up you get a set of instructions which I think I made a mistake on because man there's a bunch of parts but we're gonna see if I can piece this together pretty quickly so it's a set of instructions a piece of sandpaper which is kind of weird and it says to basically sand the burrs out because you're gonna be snapping it's laser cut you're gonna be snapping the pieces off to assemble this one by one and then if there's uh you know, too many birds, when you snap it off, you just kind of sand it really quick and smooth everything out. As you can see, there's a bunch of pieces here on this board and also on this board. So there's two boards of pieces that I have to piece together. So I'm going to try and piece this together as fast as possible. All right, guys, this is what I've got so far. This is at 40 minutes in. I only got the two arms. All right, guys, and here we are at an hour and one minute, the legs. So in an hour and one minute, I've done the arms and the legs. Now it's time to do the torso. And here it is, guys. <laughs> this thing took me one hour and 54 minutes to complete. If they would have said, this is going to take you an hour and 54 minutes in their ad, I would have not bought it. But if you want to kill some time and make something that's going to be extremely detailed, check out the, uh, the hands there. Check out the arms. All the detail there. All the detail work all the way around on this wood. is It's pretty cool. I will give it that. And sideways front and there's a torso and there is a face of the gorilla slash king kong the wood is very thin so you have to be very careful when you're putting this together i did kind of crack some pieces and kind of lift a little bit of the wood up since it's kind of pretty thin and it's layered on top of one another but aside from that i mean i don't think it has that much mobility this is essentially all it does here and then if you want to stand it up you can but the balance is not that great, so I would think you would have to balance it just a little bit in order for it to stand up. So let's see if we can make it stand up here. Place it somewhere like on your desk or in your bedroom, and it'll stand up, but 
you have to basically pose it and just leave it there. I'm gonna give this thing a 7.1 guys. It is made out of very thin wood so you have to be very careful but that's why I'm giving it a 7.1 because it's very time consuming and it's easy to crack. It is a nice little project and all you have to do is basically pose it on your desk or on top of your shelf and it would look pretty nice. After spending an hour and 54 minutes building this you're not going to want to touch it and you're not going to want to let anybody else touch it because of how long it takes. But other than that the shape is pretty cool. It's not that big. It's about six inches tall. By the way guys if you're liking what you're seeing so far please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below that way you don't miss any more future gacha videos. Now let's continue with this one right over here which is a Godzilla coin bank. Check this out. And on top, basically it's the ocean and it has a boat here, waves here, a small island, it's more like waves to me. Of course it has a very small speaker here on the side, I'm pretty sure it's gonna make noise. And at the bottom it does require AA batteries here and then you can take out your coins right over here. So here we go, I have the quarter right on top and we're gonna press this button and see what he does. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna do a quarter and then I'm gonna get really close for you guys so you guys can see what he looks like. So there's red lights flashing and then he reaches out and Godzilla takes it. This is pretty cool. I wonder if he'll do two. I'm gonna do two quarters. This is two quarters. That was cool, he drug both of them down. I'm gonna do it sideways, I would recommend this. This is what it looks like sideways. He's gonna reach out. And there's a red light on his arm, so that's pretty cool. And then I'll turn him around this way, so you can check him out this way. His face peeking out, he peeks out, he reaches out his arm, and then he drags it in. I really do like this a lot. It is made out of all plastic, but I can't believe how useful this thing is. And it actually does work. All it says here in the front is Godzilla boom. And then all you have to do to open this plastic coin bank, guys, is you grab one of the quarters before you put it in, I guess. And then you twist it to the side and you pull this out. And then all the quarters fall out through this hole at the bottom. Guys, for the first time ever on my channel, I'm gonna give something an exact 10. This would be so cool as a collector's item and you have it on your desk or on top of a shelf and then anybody can use it and it has a few different sound effects. I really do like that. I like that they put them in the ocean and there's a boat here. There's like an island here. Kind of doesn't look like an island, but I guess it's an island. At just a press of a button, he comes out all angry and he grabs the quarter, the dime, nickel, even double stack, nickel and dime quarter and quarter I mean it'll do it even though that it's made out of plastic I like how well they built this it is pretty thick plastic this would be a perfect kids piggy bank if you guys want to gift your kids something from Godzilla movies this would be pretty cool and they can also save a little money on the side I don't know it's just exciting maybe it's because of the movie that's going to come out it's related you know I, I don't know but 10.0 that's what I'm feeling and that's what I'm going to give this thing I would recommend it and the last one right over here, guys, it's going to be a King Kong Gorilla Gadget. And what you get inside the box, guys, are instructions. And for some reason, you get a pouch with a charging cable that has a lightning connector, but it does not connect to the gorilla itself. And, of course, the gorilla right over here. Check him out. Blue and gray. Turn him around so you guys can check him out that way. We'll take this little plastic thing off of him here. Whoa, he turned on already. He has a button on top right behind his head. It makes different sound effects, so that's pretty cool. His feet move back and forth, side to side, as you guys can see. Arms also move up and down, and his arms also kind of... <laughs> and it has a sound effect. I didn't know that. When you uh, press these buttons, you see? It punches, but it... <laughs> It has a sound effect. That's pretty cool. It's actually very responsive. You're supposed to pose them this way and then it will, you see? See how it has that little lip here on the back? Pull that out. It folds out from his back so it folds in and then you can fold it out just like that. Folds in, folds out. Put the phone on him this way and those little hooks grab on. And I'm playing a gadget style video there. I don't know if you guys seen it. As you guys can see, he grabs onto your phone and he carries your phone so you can watch him. So 
He's also a phone stance and you can adjust his arms little by little so it, he'll go down even more or you can lift them up little by little. It's kind of awkward right now because of the way I'm holding them. I mean, I'm doing it one-handed, you know, so it's kind of difficult. The little lip right over here, that little clip thing, it has small little hooks like this so it grabs onto your phone so it doesn't slip. And of course, if you occasionally want to turn them on, you can do that there. He does require three cell batteries. They're inside, I think, his head because there's a battery compartment there. I'm going to give the Alloy Gorilla guys a 7.9. It is all made out of very tough plastic. I like that he has that punching action. Every time you punch, his eyes change color. He does have that sound effect. And the eyes blink. That's pretty cool. And you can pose his legs any which way that you really want to. His arms up and down. And what I really like is that phone lip here that you push down this phone clip thing and it has a little hooks to grab onto your phone so it doesn't fall. I do like this little uh, gorilla guys. It's about, I don't know, six inches tall and I think it's going to be pretty tough but there's not many things for King Kong so this is the gadget that I had to find. Guys, this is your pal Gadgets out here again and these were just a few Godzilla vs. King Kong gadgets. My favorite one was the Godzilla coin bank right over here. Perfect 10, first ever on this channel. I want Godzilla to win when the movie comes out. I don't know about you guys, but I do. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any more future gadget videos. Comment down below and check out this video right over here to see some more gadgets tested and scored. And remember, one test that's all. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.